Hello, big beautiful world. That'll be Constance right about there. Uh, just a disclaimer up front that I will be using livery showing the swastika. So <clears throat> if that is illegal in your country, please don't watch this. Or if it offends you, please don't watch it. I do subscribe from spending time in Europe to how important it is to many people. Uh, so if you are affected by this, please do not watch this video. Other than that, on with the show, yeah? So we're taking up this beautiful, beautiful beastie. The Latte Koi 631. Check the delivery. So this is actually pulled down from flightsim.to, but the livery on all the standard aircraft is outstanding. If you want my opinion, I won't give a review. I think um, Captain Kenobi gives a fantastic review. Jonathan Be Beckett and a couple of others give fantastic reviews. <clears throat> Excuse me, frog in my throat. Uh, I don't. This is my opinion, and my opinion is it's a no-brainer. Go and buy it. And there's a lot of reasons why. Not the least of which is it's under twenty bucks Australian. If you've got the premium edition, it's under twenty bucks Australian. And the bang for buck you get on this puppy is absolutely mind-blowing. All right, shut me up. Let's get in the plane. Okay, so we start in the cold and dark. I love those outriggers, the outer sponsors. They're just glorious. Okay, so we are... The story goes like this. The Allies did bomb this, and the infantry, I think as well, the SH-200 uh, from uh, Essenkasi. The Luftwaffe did take them and bring them back here. I believe they were both bombed. This certainly was uh, the um, La Decoe 631. And perhaps a second La Decoe 631 was also bombed. But our narrative is a bit of alternative history. That was, the Allied bombing was Plan B. Plan A was to send a single operative in, SOE operative in, to see if he could cold and dark it and fly it to somewhere safe like Zurich. So we are the hero of the story. If we get a full recording, this will be my, I think, 11th attempt at recording without my PC rolling over. Let's try it. Okay, so, 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 so. We're just going to make our way to the back. And this is where the heart of the action is. Five man crew. Actually, come back, come back, come back, come back. Here we go. We give ourselves some battery. Come back over. I'm sure that we've got, uh, yeah, okay, so mixture, full auto reach, props full down. Same on that side. Mixture, yep. Props full down. We're looking good, beautiful people. Come back over. Good, good, good. Here's where a lot of it starts. We'll get the Simca APU. I think it's a little four-cylinder Simca. You can hear it kicking in. This is our a APU uh, relays to get it all started. I think we've got to give us some juice. I think that was right back there. Since the flight sim does tend to start with the fuel cock open on all the aircraft. Now, yeah, so that needs to be on. Now, that's one of the most, let's just start with the first beautiful thing here. Oh, mags on. Where are we? Rock and roll. Right, take it from the top, eh? No, we don't take it from the top. Flying away, you goofy kid. Let us... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Correct. We're going to go through and then hop out and watch. Oh, I love the way the donks start on this. I love everything about this bloody aircraft. Crack the throttle a bit. There we go. Okay, so... We'll have alerted the ground forces now, so we're going to have to start five. So, 
motorcycle. That was it. Two. Outstanding. Sorry, two, uh, three, four, two, five. There we go. Will they send a party off the shoreline to come after us? Alright, let's go you good thing. You should give us what we need. Now what we do need, one last thing from our brave little uh, SOE operative, is we're going to hop down here, activate a boat, and we can't, we can't, we cannot, we cannot, because we have started the engine, that's only for cold and dark, we're going to have trouble getting out of here I think peeps, I think we've got our flaps full down, we have no, zero to no authority, pretty much while we're on the ground with this even though you've got all that force coming back on the twin rudders on the rear we have next to no authority on this big lumbering beast and we need to bring props full up so theoretically we are going to run into some heartache I think, maybe, 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 we've done it, we have done it, Ooh. and yes they will be sending the Luftwaffe after us, but the we care, we does not, now, let's bring our Watch the flaps come up. Very nice. And watch our sponsors. Uh, watch, watch, watch our out floats come up. I love these floats. Check the undercarriage. Doors. They do look terribly fragile though, don't they? And I think the upper feet had the same thing. Amphitry, no, you sure as a goddess, Amphitry. Awesome. We're up in the air, peeps. Now, we need, we need to fly. We need to hightail it for... We should keep on thinking throttle while I'm climbing. Down to around 240. Could it have also and give me the message. So this beastie, like I said, just buy it. It's it's a no-brainer. If you're into Easter eggs, it gives you into it gives you so many Easter eggs. Let's we'll explore. If you're into interior design of it all, it's it's got that. If you're into a singularly unique flight model it's got that if you are into um, you know a, basically a, a pre-tube liner tube liner it's got that it is remarkable bang for the buck for me it arguably sets the same bar as the 247 Boeing did you know it is just amazing now my suspicion is that that Blue Mesh, the, who released this, did in fact yearning, 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 yearning to the bad guys. Um, Blue Mesh did in fact collaborate with Red Wing. I can't prove that, but that is my suspicion. And I just want to Why? Why? There we go, so there's Actually, this will be Friedrichshafen down there, so we took off from Friedrichshafen. We'll be passing over Constance. There you go. 
Now, why would I rave about this? So, I'm not, I just really mean it. Go and buy it. It is bang for the buck. It is just remarkable bang for the buck. It's the looks. It eclipsed the HK1, the uh, Hughes Kais 1, the Screw Screws. It was only marginally eclipsed by the SE200 Amphitrite from Sudest. And, uh, just want to keep going. It was substantially eclipsed by the Saro Princess 10 years later. I think the Saro Princess, don't quote me, I think it was about 80 tons empty. These puppies, the Sudest and this were comparable at about, mm, I think 35 tons, maybe a little heavier. So, um, but that being said, just a trimmer, don't need to get too high. I think it's a sleepy day in Constance and they don't have any spare Luftwaffe pilots to come after us. So everything's working in our favor. Um, it's, yeah, so I flew in 42, etc, etc. Now why, why, why do I rave about this so? Uh, it's the native paint job. The, you look at the respective liveries and I'll grab some more postcard moments with this, but the liveries themselves are just gorgeous. The, the buckling and the orange peel effect on the panels, they've put a lot of love. And look, it's just a major, major, major work of love, this aircraft for the team. And I'm not a shill of theirs. I don't know who they are. I don't care. But I, this is all I've flown for the past six days, not just for the purpose of enjoying a recording or whatever, but just to get to know. Um, how can I express it better? I'll, I'll, I'll try and demonstrate, that, demonstrate it this way. So these are all the, the respective which hats positions, the control one through control eight. So little things like, so this is an autopilot here and there. That's cool. Now, ordinarily you just get your seat. You might get that, yeah? So you might get your armrest come up, but no. You can move it forward or backwards with the sound. Up or down with sounds. The sounds on the engines, both internally and externally. The startup procedure, the detail in the navigator's table, the amount of clickable things that you've got utterly ludicrous. Now I don't even know they do. In time I'll probably learn them. May not, who knows? It's not the point. The point is, so comms. Morse code. Etc, etc. All poodling about. You can poodle about them. Flight engineer one and flight engineer two. Uh, the interior, the, the polish on the wood. Um, we'll do it when we land. The, the, the dock, the tugboat, the doors opening. Incidentally, that down there leads to a cabin where the crew can sleep. In fact, let's just do it. Let's just have a look at the... Oh, we've got it here. So, general. Cold and dark, auto start, auto shut down. Doors one through four open. National flag, dock, boys and engine covers. Oil, petrol. Stunning, mate. The electrics, so the APU, so truth, which reminds me I've got to. <laughs> Sorry, gang. So control eight, I think it is. No, control nine. So turn this puppy off now. Don't need it on. Didn't switch the generators in. Accordingly, it's alright. I am after all an SOE upgrade. Didn't think, didn't have time to think about that. So we're all on. Those three are off. On, on. Fuel clock open. We're good. We're good elsewhere. Thanks for reminding me, crew. So, yeah, that all works. It all does something. This, oh. 
there you go, down into that now. I don't know if I can actually get down there without uh, without free ranging. I don't want it. We're in flight now. Like I said, I'd be grateful just to get a good recording. I am just okay. So back to back to right here. You off? Off? Uh, avionics, right there. Towing options. We get the land trolley. It can be slowly moved about, very slowly. Tugboat, again slowly, very good. Cool. The way you can't bring the sponsors up if you got the flaps down. I keep saying sponsors, they're not sponsors, it's just the outriggers, the floats. love that's gone into it and the textures themselves the scratching and the scarfing it's bloody lovely it's just incredibly cool it's incredibly cool cool play and we're heading too far south and we need to and on top of that the big lumbering flight model it is all elegance and grace when she's up here but you've got to try landing this sucker. You know, you've got to really prep on this baby. So we're going to bring her over all the way over southern Germany into Switzerland. I was hoping to get some picture post postcarding mountains with some uh, picture postcarding moments with some mountains, but we'll see. So that's just this, the Latte Coe 631 from Blue Mesh. Uh, like I said, no brainer, quiet. You're going to feel rewarded a sense of discovery kind of a massive playground really aerial playground something to say but it's certainly true from my perspective i actually i just love the way the rear rudders that rudder design they look like winglets used on modern aircraft for greater flight efficiency I, I just um, I marvel at the beauty of it and on top of that just the beauty of the aircraft itself it's a good looking aircraft in my opinion uh, right up to you know you can't cover this can you see it right up to the, the comms lines all the comms lines are there all the closed lines Too far. Not a lot too far actually. <laughs> I don't care. I'm taking evasive action against uh, I don't know. What have we got down this way? A couple of old Michael 51 biplanes. Maneuverable little beasties, but uh, they're 7.62 smoke. Cut it for any damage to this mighty beast. No no no. Now let me have a look. I'm bringing around Lucy enemy in some of the cloud while we barrel on through lots and lots of news huge week for flight singers uh, we got the BF 109 which I'll just go and call it the ME 109 through childhood habits I can't be asked saying by Alicia flips a bit over and over and over again so yeah the 109 uh, and it looks amazing from flying line i might get it eventually curiously i might not i think for me the um walks through we still have the so not that we still have the cowling flaps open don't we so let's have control seven uh, let me have a look Outer, middle, you know, we're in business. No, hang on, come on, kid. There we go, close them all up. Uh, yeah, the 109 looks amazing, but I'm happy with the Corsair and the Spit. I just don't fly them that much. The Warbirds, 
my bad, I know. This, uh, even though technically it's a war time aircraft, it's a civilian aircraft, probably. Um, so I really probably won't be getting the 109 as gorgeous as it appears, and a handful of other <laughs> certainly looks to appear. I think even the blue does a magnificent job with it. It's just mind-blowingly tricky beast to get about, and it sounds like a phenomenal. Uh, the Ford Trimotor tro dropped for free yesterday, so I don't know if it's going to remain free. Most likely it will. It looks awesome. The burnished metal on that uh, burnished alloy around the engine nacelles is super, super cool. So, uh, yeah, that looks really cool. Um, 1935, more Red Wings releases up in the marketplace. Toledo, it's eight bucks odds, I think less than eight bucks odds. And France, around 22 bucks. I think after the France release earlier this week, there was concerns because one of the things that uh, Sobo did was redo Le Boucher. And I think the Red Wings crew have kind of done Le Boucher and some other components of Paris and some other cities. But it's a, they're both welcome updates, both the Sobo update and and the new Red Wing stuff as well. And I do believe we'll be seeing the uh, Lakehurst before long, and I think the Bugatti before long as well. So I just want to have a squeeze down here. So yeah, there's some be, been some serious uh, things dropping this week. Got friends who got that double ender coming out. Now, is it only me? Or for any of you cats who love your World War II aircraft, does it remind you of the old Siebel 201, which was tried at Messerschmitt. The original Messerschmitt 163 was originally a stole aircraft as well. Not the, not the famous Comet, but uh, they did use the 163 and recycled it for the Comet, I think. And it was up against the the store and the Siebel 201 for a sort of stole aircraft uh, observation aircraft and of course the Fisla was dropped and the ME 163 was dropped but they both bear a strong resemblance well the, this Siebel uh, this got friends double ender does bear a strong resemblance to the Siebel 201 and the Messerschmitt 163 I don't know, just my thoughts. I don't know what your thoughts are on it. I know it's very nerdy, but uh, it's true nonetheless. It just strikes me as kind of, yeah, really striking, the similarities. <sighs> of course, the visor goes up and down. Yes, of course it does. Can I smell this damn blood, this thing? Just like the Raphael, the other Blue Mesh. Blue Mesh is first creation, the 430. But yeah, this is uh, this is satisfying. It's just really satisfying on every level for me. Um, I'm gonna bring her into. Uh, it should be dead ahead. We'll be alright. We'll be alright. And I think we're over Swiss territory now. So only theoretically, uh, what are the Swiss aircraft? The DFWs which were homegrown fighters. There are a few of them. And in fact, I believe one of them has been released up here in Flight Simland, in MSF S2020. Because uh, isn't it the Swiss Milsims who did the DFW as well as the Vampire and the Venom? Again, I could be wrong. I think I only got the Venom. And frankly, that was a... I don't know. Just not very satisfying and certainly not good bang for the, for the buck came out at the same time as the Bell X1 again not 
an aircraft unlikely to revisit anytime soon. Zurich up towards the top end, let's have a look. Let's just take a look at what our best option is to get it down. Now that we've done our heroic thing, we've invaded the Nazis, we've captured a lot, they go ahead. 631. Uh, I mentioned, didn't I, that I think Red Wings are due up to release their Aero Postal, Postal the, um, is it the 28? Lato Koei did so many cool aircraft, so many beautiful, especially seaplanes. Like Caproni, wonderful seaplane designer. <laughs> in Caproni's case, oh, in both their cases technically, a lot of mm, not so wonderful aircraft as well. But the Amphitrite was another good looking beastie, not too dissimilar to this, a little more portly, somewhere between a Sunderland and this. I just can't get over how good looking these lines are. Really beautiful, beautiful. Elegant lines. Now is that going to be enough for me? Yeah, we're going to go for that. Bigger lake dead ahead and we'll bring it down. Just going to start making our way down. Now, theoreticals. Theoreticals, we're around the 200 mark. So that's the other thing with this. Technically, these had the R2600 bright cyclones hanging off. Powerful engine, war winners, war beaters, Mitchells, Hellcats, you name it, these suckers went on. But really, this behemoth, even these engines were struggling. And in fact, the aircraft, even though it ran for 10 years or more, it wasn't considered a success. It had, I think, a few fatalities. Half of them ended up causing uh, some issues, including wing shear on one of them because of the stress. Now, that could have been a maintenance issue. Or it could have been, again, just not enough uh, power there for them um, or just not enough structural strength there for them. So, but it certainly speaks of our dreams for this amazing elegance in the sky. The, the sheer craft that went into these designs on this aircraft. And you consider, you look at the expedience of the HK-1. I know it's, it's a shocking thing to say, but it is. It looks, it look, the, you know, the Hughes, is it H4? Was named as or HA, I forget which. I always call it the Hughes Kaiser. But uh, it, it it looks, you know, she'll be right. She's good enough to roll. I'm just going to bring our flaps down. Watch them come down, nice and slowly. Ah, okay, so if you bring the flaps down, it automatically brings down the outriggers, which is super cool. And we're just going to drop it down, hopefully on the water. I, I love it, I just love it. And I've taken this thing under the Harbour Bridge, you've flown it around off La Rochelle, uh, tried to fly it out of the Zane, and uh, to no avail. But I just love flying this. I guess some of these things just have a magic all their own that you can't fully articulate. I just would struggle to do so. So, um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh shit, I forget. I was banging on about something as usual. Good things coming on Flight Sim. The 2024 release is causing a bit of controversy. That's okay, that's all good. Um, Again, if you harken back to the original, you know, there was one every two or three years, so this time it's four years. And they'll be able to capitalise on it, it'll all, all, all be retrofittable, so I'm sure we'll all be safe with our community folder and so on. And Jorg and the team at the Sobo 
really do honour their word of trying to look after their people for whatever pissing and moaning we all go on about. So I believe we'll be okay. So we come in and so will our brave SOE operator. So we come into uh, Zurich. I love it. I just, I'm kind of gobsmacked by it. All kinds of clickable sound, uh, clickable things to do in this aircraft. Uh, what else? What else? What else? But all really, nothing else. I don't think. Mm, the mystery of the sunken bridge. There you go. Classic. Like I say, it's a no-brainer. Folks, if you want something that's going to keep you occupied for a substantial amount of time and you need a long hauler that you're prepared to sit at about 200 mile an hour with, then I do not hesitate in saying grab this. Lovely part of the world. So we peel back the power on these six right cyclones. And just let her find her own way down to the water. Hopefully we won't take out too many sailboats, but if we do, you know, it's all in the name of the war effort, isn't it, really? Sorry. I love it. Oh, so cool. I'll be out and see what the wake looks like. So we set her down and she settles in. Well, that's it. We made it. Okay, so rather Rather than um, poodle about shutting everything down, we're going to go back. We're going to go back to Golden Bar. And we are going to go to the dock. That's what we're going to do. <clears throat> we're going to open door one, door two, door three, door four. And that one. Is it that one? How do we open this sucker? But there's a little flick switch in there. Go up and I don't want to do it, it just does it. There you go, look. Let's hop out and have a look, eh? So this is the dock you get with it. <laughs> it's just mind-blowingly cool. Let's come down. All the doors are open. One, two, three. Yeah. Color me impressed. Color me impressed. Actually, color me in love. I am in love. It is a gorgeous beastie, people. <sighs> I know I've banged on. Um, look, you're going to find fault with it. You're going to find a bunch of stuff wrong with it. It just doesn't measure up. You're going to find a lot of stuff that you will love. Uh, I love it. And I am glad it has dropped. I find it quite... Like I said, it's kind of verges between a work of love and a work of art, if not both, fully combined. All right, big beautiful world, I'll shut up, stay safe, stay sane, get flying. Bye.